like, bro. She got, she got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> This is 10 Scary Ghost Videos or you a big baby. You know, Nuke tops five. You know, Nuke got the pretty the good ghost. ghost videos, you know what I mean? Some pretty valid stuff, man. I'd be sometimes I'd be like, I don't know if I believe that one, but yeah, but I don't know. I just, I just sometimes be like, someone could have you know, like something got pulled or fell over. I don't know, but sometimes like the one where it's like kids interacting with things. Oh, like, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, see no kid like a baby, like, yeah. like acting. Yeah, like, hi. Like boss baby or yeah, I don't know, but uh, you know, let us know if you want to see more of these like scary type videos in the comments. <laughs> Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you go checking out the playlist. A lot of times when you got answers to react to stuff, we've already seen the video. So just go check out some playlists. We react to a lot of different videos. Go check out other channels. Four and Two Show. I will be gaming on Hot Right Now. Yes, and the TikTok. You know what I mean. Family Ties. Family. Popular Japanese paranormal investigators Japanese Hiro Japanese and Tomo Japanese. from the Google YouTube Maps. channel Omegatoki Film are contacted by one of their viewers about a house with a horrifying history. The former occupants of the house were at one time a happy family. A man, his wife, and their daughter. But their happy life eventually turned to tragedy. Over the years, the couple's daughter began to develop a severe mental disorder. And one night, she tragically took her own life in her bedroom. The girl's mother and father were absolutely devastated by the violent passing of their daughter. Overcome by grief, the couple also took their own lives right in the same bedroom where their daughter had passed away. This tragic case shocked the community and the house has remained empty ever since. Eventually, the home was inherited by a relative a man who wishes to only be referred to as Tajima. Tajima claims he's experienced unnerving paranormal events every time he visits the house. The activity has become so extreme that he's reluctant to even return there. So the owner Tajima reaches out to the Omegatoki film team who agree to investigate the tragic alleged haunting. First, the Omegatoki team asks the owner to give them a tour of the house and show them the bedroom where the family took their own lives. A spine chilling moan can be heard from somewhere inside the house, breaking out both the owner and the investigators. Tajima explains that this sort of supernatural activity occurs so often that both he and a friend have actually captured terrifying video footage around the home. The following video was recorded by Tajima. <laughs> I don't laugh, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be so homeless. Waving at Tajima from inside the daughter's bedroom on the floor. <laughs> I'm out of here, baby. You're crazy, man. You're right. I don't know why I even came up in this motherfucker. You have it. I don't know why I came up in this motherfucker. Cut to another nighttime visit. You're crazy, man. Tajima's friend captures something on the bedroom stairs that might even be more disturbing. Put that light up, nigga. What are you doing? I'm looking at the floor. Oh my god. What was that? I thought someone's face was gonna pop up. Tajima's friend begins to record when he hears the unexplained sound of something banging against the glass door. He films the stairs leading to the daughter's room 
and his blood runs cold as he sees a small, pale foot oh, stepping no. down the top of the stairs. Oh, God. Tomo monitors the investigation from outside the house as Hiro explores the house all alone. Hiro suddenly begins to hear strange sounds coming from downstairs. Gathering his courage, he heads down to investigate. And what happens next is truly disturbing. I didn't hear fucking. No, 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 no. What kind of demons is this, nigga? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> or I just might be them Japanese guys, you know what yeah, I mean? Two ここに住まれてる方ですか Another terrifying moan can be heard from somewhere within the house, but Hiro can't find the source. So, eventually, Hiro heads back upstairs and enters the bedroom where all three family members took their own lives. That's when he captures something that is pure nightmare fuel. Oh my god. <laughs> Truly disturbing. Nightmare Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank what appears to be a tuft of long dark hair can be seen mm. creepily sliding along the floor and just out of sight. Hiro doesn't even notice the chilling event until he looks back at his footage later. He goes back to check the area, but there's nothing there. So what then? Is this? Let me know what you think. Mm. I can't you can watch this entire three-part investigation with even more spooky this is moments white soft over on the YouTube channel, press. Omagatoki Film. I don't believe these niggas. A cry for help. TikTok user Ali McDaniel from Raleigh, North Carolina, says that he just returned from a fishing trip when he heard something odd coming from a nearby public yeah, toilet. Yeah. Perhaps the sound of a screeching animal. The first black ass. He pulls out his phone and moves closer <laughs> to film the odd sound. But it turns out this is real. it's not the sound of an animal at all. That's the next neighbor. Yeah, what though? That seat off, nigga. Yeah, that's some skin off here. That shit. I would have yelled back, Where you at? And then you would have heard some footsteps if there was somebody yeah, around. Yo! He's like smiling and shit. <laughs> Yo! It's like black. <laughs> well, I thought it was someone about to pop up. A woman can be heard screaming desperately for help from inside the public restroom. But when Ali goes inside and checks, but you realize that there's there. no one there. there nobody there. Shocked by the experience, he posts his video to TikTok and many concerned viewers <laughs> wonder what he like might have caught a spirit <laughs> or possibly even a skinwalker. But what do you think? Yo, yeah, what though? Yeah, he a little bit too. Yeah, I'm not going in there, nigga. I'd be like, I'll call for help. I'll never come back. Please, please help. Yeah, he's in the Johnny. Yeah, but who has their camera? He went in there thinking that someone actually needed help, and he's like, Security guard friend yeah, works at a help site in Texas. Texas. He says, Texas No, I think he probably at first just went in there just to get help, but he, he went in there and that shit happened. He's like, What the f? So he probably went back out and recorded, like, Yo, what the like, like, look, see, like, look what's happening. And recorded it again. Would y'all do that? Pull your phone out? No. Somebody's coming. You, you about to go help somebody, you pulling your phone out? 
Bro, he didn't pull it out no, no, when he was going to help him. He pulled it out probably after he already went in there to help him. See, that doesn't make sense. Cause like, Imagine you just got out, of, you just came from, from the beach, and you're walking past the bathroom, and you hear, you hear screaming. You run in the bathroom to go help. Nothing's there. That same thing he recorded happens to him, and he's like, what the f***? He probably goes back outside, and like, I got to record this. He, he, like, he probably heard it when he went back outside, too. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. During a night shift, a construction worker named Jose, Jose. needed help moving a giant heavy wooden cable reel. Jose is relieved when a fellow worker who he's never met suddenly offers to help him out. After they move the heavy cable reel, Jose looks back over to thank the young man. But he's disappeared. <laughs> that was B-roll for this one. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, she's just like that, baby. Is that him? Yeah, he's probably he probably think he's talking to somebody. Ain't nobody here. Probably a kid who died on the fucking the job or something young. Okay, and he probably really think there's someone down there pushing that job with him. Uh, I'm gonna say that makes not with a move on the sound. <laughs> He probably got the dude, he was on watch my camera, probably in his ear, like, bro, who are you talking to? <laughs> but, huh? There's no one out there. Jose bro. reports what happened to the security guard, Freddy, and to his foreman. But they tell Jose that he was the only worker on duty that night. Yeah, quit. He was completely alone on the job site. So, as a matter of site security, they check the CCTV footage and they're shocked by what they find. And this is where things get really weird because jose spots a photo on the wall inside the office and recognizes the man in the picture as the man who helped him out that night security guard freddy and jose's foreman are chilled to their core because you see the man jose points out in the photo passed away over seven years ago security guard freddy decides to post the bizarre footage on tiktok but after receiving some backlash he decides to actually show just how difficult it is to move one of the heavy wooden cable reels. So could it be that Jose received help from the ghost of Alan Lopez? Oh, look at the it. spirit is it still stops, wandering too. the job like, site. Like, Let me know down in the comments. Scared? Think like to touch it and it's gonna stop? Here. Yeah, dude. See stuff like that, I'd have quit. I'd have gone. I'd be like, oh, really? I really. Is that true? Yeah, that's, that's crazy as hell. By the time I'm, they be I'm like, say no, I'm just gonna... yeah, by the time they look down and say, yeah, and look back up, I'm already walking out the door. Like, hey, where you going? I'm like, I ain't gonna say no, I'm just gone. <laughs> wow, <dude. laughs> they hear the door shut. Oh, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share, man. Road to 10K. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>